Um, hi, my name is Sukhita Dolwiwit. I'm a lecturer at the Faculty of Architecture, Silabakon University. I like Thai food, like spicy food, sweet food, tasty food, papaya salad, grilled pork on a stick, sticky rice. I think it means that the city that everyone has to adapt to survive, but at the same time, it should only be about survival, but enjoyable as well. So it's not only like physical, but emotional, socially, cultural as well. Living, yeah. And I mean, living has so many dimensions in it anyway. And the word, of, the word I like about adaptive is that it's not about this disaster. It's about everyday life. And being adaptive, it means we live our life, trying to live as normal as possible, but at the same time, change a little bit. Either change the attitude, change the behavior, change ourselves, change our friends, but do it in a very gentle way in order to live normally, but being very flexible and adaptive. Everyone. It has to be everyone. It cannot be just one person or one group of people. I mean, in that case, it won't work. It become a camp. It won't be a city. I mean, I guess. I mean, we need both. Like at the at the community level, the people need to change their mind, change their behavior, change the way they're living, change their values. Um, and at the political level, the government should do the supporting role. Like either build some better infrastructure or um, providing some loan for whatever and private sector. Yeah, and, and everyone has to work on this. Yeah. Learn how to swim <laughs> <laughs> at the individual level. <laughs> It's difficult. I think this is a good question because I mean you can say many things about what adaptive city should be about, but when you really you know get the the question that about yourself, then you don't want to change. For adaptive city, I think one one key is to learning from what the people adapt from the past disaster or from from the past. I mean on the ground on a street level, at the community level. And then the government, after learning something from the people, then the government can plan a better way to support the people. And at the same time, we as a middle class people should learn from the low income community because it seems that they're much more like, tough than us when encountering disaster or risk or hazard or something like that. And I think with the board like a bottom up and a top down, then it can be a, a proper adaptive city. Learn from each other. I mean, just like you said, like who should do the project? If the government do it by themselves, it will become pretty author authoritarian. But if the people have to do everything by themselves, then it will be another disaster. So I guess it has to be two ways like both learning from each other and the other one get support from, I mean the bottom get the support from the top and then the top learning from the bottom. And in that case, I think that will have a, a appropriate policy and appropriate strategy in order to, I don't know, be adaptive.